Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi Mathematics, today we have a very interesting and tricky algebra question. We know that a plus b equal to 1, a square plus b square equal to 2, and we need to find this sum, a to the 8 plus b to the 8. And a lot of students may be saying, hey mister, this is like the easiest question I ever seen. We have first power right here, a and b, this is equal to 1, the second power 2, 2 right here, so the answer is 2, and right here we have 8 power, so it means that right here we will have 8. So if you have your answer, your solution, you can also write a solution down into the comment section and then we will check our answers. So right now let's try to solve. First of all, here is the main idea. We know the first power equal to 1. Second power, the sum of a square plus b square equal to 2. And right now the main idea, let's try to get in closer and closer to this a to the power 8. First of all, let's start with a to the fourth power, okay? So the first step right here, let's raise a to the fourth plus b to the fourth to the second power, okay? This is our first, this is our first step. So this is equal to, so uh, according to basic school formula, we have uh, first square, so a to the fourth square, yeah? The next we have plus b to the fourth, we know we need to raise this to the second power, and plus two times a to the fourth times b, b to the fourth. So this is our first step. We want to get in closer and closer to this a to the power 8 plus b to the power 8. Right now, let's look closely what do we have. First of all, we need to know a really great property. When we have x to the power a raised to the power b, we need to raise this as x to the power a times b. So right here, let's multiply this, these both powers. So as a result, we have a to the fourth plus b to the fourth raised to the power two equal to, right here we will have a to the power four times two equal to eight. So we have a to the power eight plus, right here we have b to the power four times two equal to eight, which is really great, b to the power eight. And we have plus, uh, we have right here plus, yeah, we have plus two times Right here we have a times b to the power 4. According to school property, we can easily write it like that. We can easily write it as a to the power 4 times b to the power 4, but I want to group it inside parentheses, which is absolutely, absolutely the same thing. And right now, let's look closely what we have right here in the middle. a to the 8 plus b to the 8, the expression that we need to, need to find. This is our expression that we need to find. And let's express from this uh, whole expression, let's express, let's find this a to the power 8 plus b to the power 8. Let's do this right Right now. So we have a to the power 8 plus b to the power 8 equal to this a to the power 4 plus b to the power a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 squared and minus 2 times this expression. So minus 2 times a b to the power 4. And right now let's look closely what elements do we need to find uh, to this a uh, when we need to find this expression. We need to find this a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4. This is the first expression that we need to find. And the second expression we need to find our a, b. First of all let's start with with a, b, okay? How can we find a, b? Let's uh, write our basic identity, basic school identity. So this is, looks like our first first step. We need to find our our a, b. How can we find it? First of all let's write this basic identity a plus b to the second power, which is equal to a square plus b square and plus 2ab, plus 2ab. And right now let's look closely. This is basic school identity, but from this identity, a plus b equal to 1. Don't forget about it. We have right here a plus b equal to 1. So this a plus b equal to 1. A square plus b square, here you can see it. So a square plus b square equal to 2. We have it. So this is equal to equal to 2. So as a result, what do we have? We have 1 square. Okay, we have 1 square. Yeah. We have 1 square equal to, we have right here 2 plus 2ab. 2 plus 2ab. And from here, let's find our ab real quick. We can easily do this. So we have right here 1 minus 2. So we have, uh, let's continue right here. So we have 1 minus 2 equal to 2ab, two okay? 2, 2ab. Two From here, what do we have? We have minus 1 equal to 2ab, and we can easily say that we find our ab, because ab from here equal to minus 1 half. Minus 1 minus one half. And this is our AB, which is also really great because we can easily, right now, we can easily plug in this into our into our formula because we need to find our AB. We need to plug in it right here. The second step, we need to find this A to the power force plus B to the power force. So this looks like our second step. We need to find this sum of two force, force power. So let's do this. So our second step, we need to find our a to the fourth plus plus B to the fourth. How can we find it? First of all, let's erase A square plus b square, let's raise these to the second power. 
Don't ask me why, but let's see what will happen. Let's raise this uh, to the second power. As a result, we have a to the power 2 raised to the power 2 plus b to the power 2 according to school identity yeah? and plus 2a square times b square. B square. Okay, right now according to basic uh, property we had it uh, right here. If we need to multiply, so as a result we have a to the fourth. Let's continue right here from the new line. So we have a square plus b square raised to the power 2 equal to a to the fourth, a to the fourth, plus b to the fourth, and plus 2 times a times b to the second power. Okay, we can easily group it inside parentheses. And right now, let's look closely. What do we know from here? a to the power force plus b to the power force we need to find. Okay, so this expression we need to find. But the thumb a square plus b square, we have it right here, equal to 2. So this a square plus b square equal to 2. And a times b, we know from the previous step, a times b equal to minus 1 half. So right here we have minus 1 half. And right now let's plug in each of these elements into this spot. So as a result we have 2 square. Okay, so let's do this. So we have 2 square equal to equal to a to the fourth plus b to the fourth and plus 2 times a b equal to minus 1 half. So as a result we have minus 1 half to the second power. Let's simplify this. Let's find from here our a plus b. Let's do this. So as a result we have right here 4 equal to a to the fourth plus b to the fourth. And right here, what do we have? Minus 1 half to the second power equal to 1 fourth, yeah? So as a result, we have plus 2 times 1 fourth. From here, we can easily cancel 2 and 4, where right here we have 2 in our denominator. So as a result, we will have from here 4 equal to a to the fourth plus b to the fourth. And right here, we have plus 1 half, yeah? We have right here plus 1 half. And as a result, let's find from here our a to the fourth plus b to the fourth. So as a result, we have a to the fourth plus b to the fourth equal to 4 minus 1 half, which is equal to 7 half. 7 half. This is our a to the fourth plus b to the fourth. And right now, let's go back to our expression that we need to find. But I'm going to rewrite it, okay? Let's, like, I don't like to jump. Let's rewrite it. So a to the eighth plus b to the eighth equal to a to the fourth plus b to the fourth to the second power from the beginning. Yeah, minus 2 times a b raised to the fourth power. Okay, this is our expression from here. I just rewrite it because we need to find our a to the eighth plus b to the eighth. Here is it, our expression. And right now, let's let's look closely. What do we know from here? Because if you look closely, a to the fourth plus b to the fourth, we already know it because this is equal to the sum a to the fourth plus b to the fourth equal to 7 half. Yeah, so we have right here 7 7 half and a b equal to minus 1 half so minus 1 half right now let's plug in each of these elements into this spot let's see what will happen so a to the 8 plus b to the 8 equal to as a result we have 7 half square okay so we have 7 half we need to square it and minus 2 times minus 2 times instead of this a b we're gonna plug in minus 1 half minus 1 half to the to the fourth power yeah and let's split it because a little bit mess right here yeah wait, let's split it okay let's simplify this as a result what do we have a to the eighth plus b to the eighth equal to tax seven half to the second power equal to 49 over 2 49 over 4 sorry yeah 49 over 4 we need to raise both of these elements instead of according to this uh, raising okay and right now we have minus 2 times 1 half to the 4th power equal to 1 over 16, okay, so we have 1 over 16, okay, as a result equal to, so we have 49 over 4, 49 over 4 minus, right here we can easily cancel this, as a result we have 8, yeah, so minus 1 over 1 over 8, yeah. Right now the common denominator will be 8, I guess, yeah, and right here we have 2, so as a result we need to multiply 49, 49 times 2 and minus minus 1. Let's see what will happen, let's simplify this. As a result we have 49 times 2 equal to 98 minus 1 over 8, which is equal to 97, 97 over 
over 8. And it's really great because we find our answer. This is our a to the 8 plus b to the 8. And we, of course, we we need to find it from in the beginning. So as you can see, 97 over 8, this is our answer. Let's write it right here. So 97, 97 over, over 8. This is our answer. And it looks like it's not um, close to 8 because in the beginning we guessed that uh, maybe answer is something like 8 because we have 1, 2 and right here we will have 8. But it looks like this is, looks like 12. Uh, it looks like 12 and right here we have 96, 1 over 8, something like that. So as you can see this is 12, not like 8. And the correct answer right here is 97. 97 over 8, and if we're talking about 12 and 1, 8, this is our also correct answer. So 97 is the correct answer, 97 over 8 is the correct answer. Here's our solution to this question. I really hope you understand it, I really hope you learn something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, I have a lot of questions on my YouTube channel, so it's really great when we exchange information, when we, when we learn something new. So thank you for your time, wish you all the best, and see you in the next videos.